Roberto in Houston, Texas. He writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, your Stellar Power Plant 3 is capable of supplying 300 watts of continuous AC power with peaks up to 1 kilowatt. A 1.5 kVA uh, kilovolt amp computer sine wave UPS system has a similar function of converting the wall AC into DC and then through an inverter it recreates a pure sine wave, low impedance AC power for a computer stack. The UPS would have the added benefit of a battery backup which could cover brownouts and short power interruptions. Could you explain the difference between the two solutions, which of course he means the PS Audio AC regenerator, which does the same thing, AC, DC, AC. Uh, and yeah, I can. We get this question every once in a while. In one sense, there really isn't a difference. Both are doing the same thing. As in most technical things in life, if you will, it's all in how you do it. So a PS Audio power plant uses a fairly big class AB amplifier with lots of capacitance and a big transformer to make all that happen. In a UPS converter, no AB power amp exists, no big transformer and no big set of caps exist. These are made to be affordable if you will, okay? And the difference is they use what's called a class D amplifier. And you've probably heard it. They're very efficient and they, they work very well. They don't have generally a lot of energy storage behind them because they don't really need it. Their, their mission isn't to give you a pure sine wave all the time. All they want to do is give you a pure enough sine wave if you will, okay? So when you take one of those UPS devices, if you were just powering, oh, a preamp, or you were just powering something that has a steady draw, you'd probably be okay. They, they typically have output THD 1, 2%, not bad, which sometimes you get out of the wall. Sometimes you get 5 to 7% THD out of the wall. They generally are not very low output impedance. They fairly high output impedance, which is not great. And when you put a decent load on them, especially a low power factor load, like a 0.6 or 0.7, which you would find in a power amplifier or most, most class AB, if you have a class AB amplifier, for example. And worse, if you have a class D amplifier, because they have these uh, switch mode power supplies that are very hard to drive. What will happen is when you start drawing a lot of current, the distortion will go up 10, 12 percent. Now, for audiophiles, that's not great. We kind of want to stay away from that because that's defeating the purpose. You'd be better off going straight into the wall, to be honest, okay? Because that's not going to happen into the wall. You're going to get your 3 percent, you get your flat top AC, but at least when you draw current, you're not going to shoot up to 10% and get this big dip right where you need the power. And that's what's happening in these UPS devices. So they're, yeah, they're, they're cool. And if you have a very light load, might work just great. But if you want to be safe, use a real power plant. Okay? Hope that helps. Thanks. Bye. <music>